Hi everyone, I'm Sara Sarto from the University of Modena and Reggio Emilia, and I would like to present to you our work called Positive Augmented Contrastive Learning for Image and Video Captioning Evaluation. In recent years, there has been a notable improvement in the quality of generated captions. However, the evaluation of these captions has relied heavily on metrics that either utilize human references or noisy web collected data. Therefore, we propose a learnable metric for video and image captioning. Our approach involves pre-training on a combination of web collected data, generated data, and human annotations. Our proposed metric, PACScore, is trained via a positive augmented contrastive learning approach and it surpasses previous reference-free and reference-based metrics in terms of its correlation with human judgment. Our architecture is a dual encoder that compares the visual and textual input via cosine similarity. Additionally, we incorporate synthetic generators for both visual and textual data. During training, our model incorporates regularization by considering contrastive relationships between real and generated image caption pairs. Given a batch of n real images and their corresponding captions, we obtain the classical clip loss term that maximize the cosine similarity between the unmatching pairs and minimize all the other non-matching pairs. Then we generate images thanks to stable diffusion, and we also add a symmetrical loss term between generated images and human annotated texts. We generate texts with blip, and we consider as before another loss term between original images and generated texts. In this way, generated items act as additional positive samples for the real matching pairs, thus adding a supervisory signal without paying the cost of the noisy data on which contrasted base feature extractors like clip are learned. In summary, the final loss is a weighted combination of the three loss terms. The novel positive augmented clip model is employed to compute both the image captioning score and the video score. Starting from a train embedding space, an evaluation metric for image captioning can be defined by simply scaling the similarity computed inside of the embedding itself. We decided to use the approach presented in the clip score paper for our image captioning evaluation, where cosine of T and V indicates the cosine similarity computed inside of the embedding space, and W is a scaling factor to enhance numerical readability, and in our specific case is set equal to 2. To include the reference ground truth captions in the evaluation process, we compute the representation of each reference caption using the textual encoder. Then, we compute the harmonic mean between the reference free score and the maximum cosine similarity between the candidate caption and all reference captions. To test the proposed positive augmented strategy for evaluating video captions, we extend the previously defined metric following the approach presented in the M score paper. In this case, matching scores are computed at two granularity levels, a coarse green level in which the global representation of the candidate caption is compared with the global representation of the video, and a fine green level in which the embeddings of single words are compared to those of single frames. Specifically, we use the positive augmented clip visual encoder to extract the embeddings of single frames and average pool them to get the representation of the entire video. In the same way, we employ the corresponding textual encoder to get single tokens and whole caption embeddings. The fine grain score is then computed by taking the F1 score of pairwise or frame similarities and TF IDF weighting. And the coarse grain score is computed as the similarity between the global video and caption representations. For the reference version of the aforementioned approach, we also include a set of reference caption R. Fast score consistently demonstrates superior performance on multiple datasets, displaying the highest correlation with human judgment and achieving remarkable accuracy across all evaluated datasets. Specifically, we employ the Flickr 8K Expert, Flickr 8K CF, and Composite dataset. Following previous works, we compute candle correlation scores in both Tau B and Tau C versions. For the Pascal dataset, instead of computing correlation scores, we compute accuracy by considering for each pair the caption preferred by the majority of human rating as correct, 
and measuring how often the evaluation matrix assigns a higher score to the selected caption. These results demonstrate the effectiveness of our approach, surpassing the performance of previously proposed metrics. Our approach not only outperforms existing metrics in terms of correlation with human judgment for image captioning, but also for videos, both in a reference-free and reference-based setting. To evaluate the correlation with humans in the context of video caption pairs, we consider the VATEX eval dataset. On the right, we also report the correlation scores at varying the number of reference captions. It can be seen that PACES achieved the best correlation scores in all settings. Correctly identifying captions with potential object hallucination is fundamental for the captioning task. Therefore, we extend our analysis to two datasets for detecting hallucination in textual sentences, namely FOIL and ActivityNet FOIL. In particular, the FOIL dataset is composed of image caption pairs from the COCO dataset, while the ActivityNet FOIL dataset instead contains video text pairs from the ActivityNet testset. As it can be seen, PACES achieves better results than previous solutions, increasing the accuracy score of 2.7 and 0.6 points compared to CLIP score and M score, respectively. Similar improvements can also be observed in the reference based version, demonstrating the capabilities of our metric to correctly identify hallucinated objects. The results reported so far use the CLIP with B32 backbone. In this slide, we show that the PAC score also achieves the best results across all cross modal backbones and almost all datasets. When comparing the results when using different backbones, both VIT-L14 models outperform other considered architectures, thus demonstrating the usefulness of using more powerful cross-model models to evaluate captioning predictions. In this slide, we present some qualitative results that compare our proposed PAC score metric with the currently most used metrics such as Cheater, Meteor, and Clip score. These results illustrate that PAC score consistently exhibits a strong correlation with human judgment, outperforming all other metrics. Feel free to personally try our PAC score by visiting our GitHub repository and exploring the interactive demo. For more details, we recommend referring to the paper. We will present our paper on Tuesday and our poster number is 266. Thanks for your attention.